All right, guys, time for another fragrance review. Today I'm going to do one of my favorite fragrances of all time. Tom Ford's Tobacco Vinny. Um, I like it so much, I'm kind of biased towards it, so it's probably hard to do a review in some sense, but definitely one of the fragrances, if I had to get rid of all my entire collection, I only had to keep five, you know, whatever. It would probably still be in my collection. That's how much I like it. What would be the story I would tell of Tobacco Vinny? I would say, imagine something like you're rolling some tobacco on a warm piece of wood that you're heating up. As you're doing this, the tobacco is almost like melting into the wood. It's becoming sticky and it's leaving a warm, gooey, chocolatey, slightly charred marshmallow in its wake. With each crackle of the embers from the now lit tobacco, we start to randomly breathe in and out the spices and the dried fruits. Sometimes you're breathing in a little cherry, sometimes you're breathing out a little cinnamon and vice versa. The smoke or the aroma envelops you. All the tobacco, the vanilla, the crisp and now even chewy elements of the wood. The dried fruity elements, the spices, everything. It's just really relaxing. It's snuggly. It's sexy. It's comfortable. That's the kind of smell this is. You know, you just kind of close your eyes and you fade away into this amazing smell, right? Breathe in and relax. Then after you get done smoking, the tobacco's all gone. You move your hand back down to this piece of wood, right? And all that's left is this gooey, sticky chocolate and marshmallow residue you put it on your fingers and you just eat the leftover yumminess basically right besides that maybe there's some hot chocolate by your side or maybe there's even another vanilla candle in the room you know that's the kind of vibe that i get out of tobacco vinny as for compliments um you know this is one of the fragrances i've said before that it's one of these that what you read online is what I've experienced in real life. And by that, I mean, I don't want to say it's a top complimented fragrance, but I do get compliments on it. And the comments that I do get are stuff that you read online as well. Like say, you know, sometimes people say it's don't it just smells like a vanilla candle. Oh, it smells like Christmas. I've been told one minute I smell manly. The next minute it smells kind of feminine. But at the end of the day, Everyone still generally thinks you smell good. You know what I mean? Performance is, um, I would say it's good. I don't get beast mode like some other people get, but uh, I would call it good for the price. Not beast mode, but performance is good. I know a lot of people that talk about Tom Ford fragrances. They talk about blending. You know what I mean? Private blend, yada, yada, yada. Um... I don't have a lot of experience with blending because it's a little out of my price range to be <laughs> spending this much money on fragrances and, you know, getting into this kind of stuff. But, you know, I've done it a little bit, you know, cliche stuff like tobacco, vinny, and Tuscan leather, you know. Yeah, it smells good. A good smell is a good smell, right? But, you know, that's something I do a lot because it's a lot of money to be, you know, experimenting like that with my disposable income. So overall, who would I recommend this fragrance to? Well, you know, tobacco, vanille, whatever. <laughs> um, I would recommend this if you like gourmand fragrances, but you want a gourmand fragrance with a bit of an edge and a bit of a slight vibe to it, right? That's what I would say. Bit of an edge, bit of a slight vibe to a gourmand fragrance, you know what I mean? That's what I would say. Anyway, fantastic fucking fragrance, I think. I think it smells awesome, dude. And that's my opinion on that.